Hey, what's up guys? Christian back here with another Pro Tools video and I am all about improving your workflow. And I know it's been a it's been a minute since I, I made one of these videos. Um, been really busy with my uh, daytime job. And so that's, uh, uh, that's the reason why I haven't been able to create as much videos, but we're gonna get back into it today. If you hear any kind of construction going on, it's because I'm in a one bedroom apartment. They're remodeling the roof on the building across the street. So pay no attention to that. We're gonna get into some creating templates for your Pro Tools session. Um, this is a huge way to cut down um, time consuming setup processes. You can uh, build a template, uh, look at generally what kind of music you are looking to record or the type of music you know you might be recording in a session, um, you know, maybe coming up in a few days or, or what have you, or maybe you just wanna build different types of templates depending on you know what client you take on depending on what kind of music you're going to be recording you have a kind of a, a selection to choose from which is uh, not a bad idea um, I create templates all the time because it's just way easier to boot up Pro Tools choose my template and then you can modify it from there if you need to so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have our Pro Tools session open just like as you see it's a blank slate and uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, just kinda go with an example that I usually do. So I usually record a full band and that includes, you know, vocals, uh, background vocals, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, uh, a full drum kit, and uh, sometimes, uh, oh, and bass, of course, bass. And sometimes we'll have some extra things in there like keys and pads and things like that. So we're gonna build a template for a typical singer, songwriter style uh, Pro Tools session. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do that command shift N to get our tracks going here. So we're going to have, uh, you know, the amount of tracks we have right here. Uh, you want to do mono audio tracks. Um, so let's let's kind of count how many tracks we're going to need. So we're going to need an acoustic guitar, right? Uh, let's do an electric guitar, uh, vocal, background vocal. That's four so far, bass five, and then we'll do kick in, kick out for the drums. We'll do a uh, snare, uh, tom one, tom two, floor tom, uh, let's see, overheads left and right, hi-hat, that's, uh, what is that, 13 so far? And then let's add in piano, why not? So 14, so let's do 14 tracks. We have all our tracks right here. If you double click right here, you can name the track. So we'll go ahead and name this Vox. Command right arrow, we'll go to the next track so you don't have to keep hitting OK and clicking. We'll do BGV for background vocals. Acoustic guitar, we'll just do AC, GTR. Electric guitar. We're just gonna go through all of these real quick. You always wanna be as organized as possible. This is kind of my process and how you do it. Uh, there are, there's really only one way you can go about creating a template. Um, However, whatever your session looks like, let's actually just call it Tom 1, Tom 2, Overhead, Tom, Overhead left, Overhead right, and then I guess I miscounted. Let's go ahead and add another one. Let's do piano. And then I usually make my background vocal and my regular vocals a hot pink. We'll go ahead and change the colors here. Uh, acoustic guitar, uh, we'll do a shade of blue. For electric guitar, I'll do kind of a, a lighter shade of blue. Uh, bass, uh, I always think of purple, 
for some reason when I think of bass, we'll do a, a, a deep purple. Uh, for drums, I usually go this color right here, kind of the color of the hi-hat and cymbals. Uh, for piano, we'll do green. Oh, and typically, for a live session, if we're running multi-tracks, uh, usually I'll have uh, any kind of uh, click and guide I'll have as an extra track, but um, you can create one in studio. So this is just a basic template. So this is kind of how I go about things for a full band, right? We kind of have everything we need here as a basic template for the band. Let's go ahead and create our groups. Creating groups is, is, is pretty important. You're going to do Command G for that. I'm looping the acoustic and electric in one guitar group. However, if you have multiple acoustics and multiple electrics, I would recommend also using, um, you know, uh, multiple. If you have multiple acoustics, create a group for acoustics. If you have multiple electrics, create one for electrics. We only have one bass track, but if you decide to do other bass recordings, you'll have a group for that as well. All you would have to do just, is just edit the groups and add whatever tracks you need in there. So Command G, and we'll name this Drums, right? And then same thing with Piano. We'll create one, with, even though we only have one piano track, we're going to do one for uh, keys and pads if you want to add pads. All right, so we have all of our groups. Perfect. The next thing I like to do, make sure you save it, Command S always. Next thing I like to do is create our effects. So Command Shift N, right? We'll do, let's do a reverb for vocals and a delay for vocals. We'll do a reverb for acoustic guitar. We'll do a reverb for, let's say, snare. Um, snare and toms. I mean, you can get wild with the effects, but for the sake of demonstration, let's just do three effects. We'll do stereo, aux. Right, we'll call this reverb. I'm violating my own shortcut there. I should have did command over. Reverb, let's call this delay. And we'll do, uh, let's do uh, snare reverb. It could be anything you want. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and give these guys buses. Right, I usually like to use the the bottom of the list there. It's just a preference. There's no written rule on that. Uh, and then I, I like to rename them because you're going to be sending tracks to these, and it's going to be nicer to look at if you do it that way. So we'll name that verb delay. So verb snare. We'll solo save these, so command click at the solo button, command S, save everything. And then when you are ready, let's say you take home this session and you do have things recorded into here, all you would have to do is send any of your tracks to your buses here. Um, and so you always want to have your plugins also on your inserts here. So for reverb, we'll just use a stock. Pro Tools 1, we'll just do D-verb. And then you can set your parameters however you like. I typically do, if it's for vocals, let's do medium. You know, it could be a medium room, 100% wet. And then you can just mess with the parameters as you see fit. Uh, delay, let's just add a stock delay. Actually, H-delay is a waves. It just 
goes to the top of my list, I guess. I figured Pro Tools stock would be at the top of the list. What is the Pro Tools stock? Let's, let's check it out. So delay. Is it the mod delay? It might be this one. Yeah. This is your Pro Tools delay. And then for snare reverb, if you have multiple plugins, multiple reverb plugins, you can use whatever. We'll just go ahead and put another D-verb on there. We'll do uh, medium. Let's do a plate. And then you can set your parameters however you see fit on that as well. So now you have your effects. You have your effects right here. You assigned them a bus. You have your plugins on your inserts. You created your groups. I think this uh, session right here, this little template is, is perfect for a, a singer songwriter type of, of vibe here. So what you're gonna do next You're going to go to File, Save as Template. Full Band 2021. Okay. And that's how you would do it. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have Pro Tools. We, we, uh, we exited out, right? And we're going to bring up as if we were going to start a new session. And uh, so what you're going to do to find the template that you built is when you have this dashboard box here pulled up, you're going to do create from template. If you remember our template group, we chose mix and record or record and mix. So you're going to select whatever template group you, you kind of put it under. And then if you scroll down here, here's our full band, right? So we'll click that. And then you can name it you know, what, whatever you want. Let's do Chris's or Christian's, you know, uh, full band set. It, ideally, it would be probably, you know, the name of the band or, or what have you. It's just for the sake of video. So you're going to have your full band and name it whatever you need to name it. I always do stereo mix as your in and out settings and then create. Give it a second here. It's going to restore some of the tracks here. And then there's your template right there. The easiest way to be organized. There's your template right there. You have everything. And uh, I hope this was a big help, guys. And uh, again, I do apologize for being absent. Um, I do want to get back into it. Work has been insanely busy. And so uh, I don't want to neglect you guys. We're almost at 100 subscribers, actually. Um, we're, we're sitting at 60 and uh, I kind of wanted to do something special for a hundred subscribers. I'm thinking like a giveaway. I have a guitar pedal here that I don't really use a lot. And I was thinking about, uh, you know, giving it away. Once we hit a hundred subs, we can do like a random raffle drawing, something fun. And, uh, yeah, I'll make a video on that as well. Kind of giving information and, 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 and things like that. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, leave a comment on what kind of templates you guys like to build and uh, look for a video in the future regarding the giveaway. It is an Electro Harmonics Microsynth pedal that is a very, very good condition. I have the box, I have the power adapter for it and everything. Um, it's even got Velcro on the back for, for if you want to put it on your board. Um, stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Stay safe. Peace out.